But like at the end of the day, a hardware like solution is is king. It's not it's not clean. It's, it's not, not clean. It's not right. Clean. So quantum computers, right? The promise is to break encryption, simulate materials. You get a better portfolio for your financial stocks because it's gonna like figure out the best way to do things. And all of that relies on actually making a quantum computer, right? And making a quantum computer as of now, it's still a hardware problem. Okay. And one of the central challenges is one of the central challenges in creating a workable quantum computer is to make the decoherence time way, way longer than the algorithm time. So, so this this actually makes total sense. the The point is, you don't actually have like a workspace that is active for long enough for you to do like yeah, like valuable computation yeah. to get an output because the decoherence time is so short. We're at a scale now where the little stuff changes in very, very, very small things that might not have mattered in a classical system. Yeah. Matter a lot in this uh, quantum system. And so if you can increase the decoherence time, that means I can run a long running algorithm. It's like a context window in AI. Yeah. Like exactly. Like, like you, you have more time to do the thing you want to do before it forgets. Yeah. Before, before it forgets. Before right. System and there, yeah. Yeah. Is, and there, and there's ways to do this to get around it. There's stuff called error correction where what you do is you like replicate the qubit multiple times and then you have like a bunch of qubits retain that information. So if one of them forgets, you can have like the other guy.